Happy Thursday, first graders. Uh, Mr. Stowe's back with another read aloud. There's my dog, Hal, again, greeting everybody at the door. I uh, hope you're all doing well. Hope you're enjoying the read alouds. Uh, today's is an old favorite of mine. Don't know if I've read it this, this year, but it is called Click, Clack, Moo, Cows That Type. And it's by Doreen Cronin, and the pictures are by Betsy Lewin. So they needed two people to write and illustrate this book, uh, just like you guys do every day at school. So click, clack, moo, cows, that type. Uh, settle in, and uh, I'll read. Here we go. Oh, and I forgot to show you the entire cover. It's got the front and the back all together. Moose type, moose, cows typing, and chickens. And this guy right here, duck. Click, clack, moo, cows that type. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long, he hears click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, click, clack, Moo. And he does not look very happy about that, does he? At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click, clack. Moo. Click, clack. Moo. Click, clack. Moo. Ooh, where's he going? Hmm. Then he couldn't believe his own eyes. And here's a note tacked up to the barn. You can probably read that. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Electric blankets. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. You know what that means? They stopped doing their job. What's their job? Giving milk, right? So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. Ooh. Can you see the shadow of Farmer Brown? How's he look? Happy? Sad? Furious? No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. You ready? Click, clack. Moo, click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo. It's like their very own laptop, but it's not a laptop. It's an old fashioned typewriter. Have you ever seen one of those? I have because I'm old. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. I like this picture. <laughs> the cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. And there's the note. Whoops, yep, there's the note. Can you read it? Right there. Closed, no milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. There they are. And there's the milking stool turned upside down. No milk, no eggs. 
How's Farmer Brown gonna feel? Cows that type? Hens on strike? Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. You see him down there? Hands in the air. Woo, he's mad. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Ooh, what do you think he's going to type? What's he going to say? Hmm. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Demand. It's not a very nice way to ask, is it? What do you think they're going to say, the cows and the hens? Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. That means he brought the note from the farmer saying, you don't get anything. I want milk and eggs. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer, Farmer Brown a note. What do you think it says? Yes? No? Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. You know what exchange means? That means trade. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. There's their note. They type well, don't they? They're good writers, like you guys. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. Okay, you see what they've got on top of them? Blankets. What kind of blankets? Warm electric blankets. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, who do you think sent that? I'll give you a hint. Click, clack, quack. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. What do they want? Diving board. Think there's any way they'll get it? <laughs> they got it. The old Farmer Brown. He's a tough old farmer. Well, that was click, clack, moo. Cows that type. You know who else can type? First graders can type. You know where, who you can type to? Your teacher, Mr. Stowe. You can go on to Remind, where you got this message, and you can type me back a message. I'd, be, I'd love to get messages from you guys. You know, I've got pictures and messages from Sammy and Mondo and Miguel and Adiana and Maya and Lucy and Nathan and Muhammad. I love getting those. So type me out a message. I'll type back to you. Click, clack, move. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.